Lethal Company is like an Easter egg hunt on a minefield. I heard a squelching noise. Damn. <laughs> if that minefield was also located on a shooting range. <laughs> oh god, oh, inside of a haunted house, crawling with monsters. <laughs> with the scariest monster of all being the crushing demands of capitalism. Is this what minimum wage is like in the United States? Yes, it is. Exactly what it is. A death sentence. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Back here with another video. Before we get to the video, man, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, follow me on my Instagram. Also, follow me on my Twitch, too. If you like IRL content, you got your favorite groups like AMP. Yeah, I think y'all boyfriend just bumped left, y'all. Yeah, they did, they did. Well, they're good, they're good. That's insane. Like, like, All that stuff. You're gonna follow me on my other channel. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into this video. As a $10 game made by a furry in his basement, I am morally obligated to play it so my kneecaps remain unshattered and my mailbox unpipe bombed. Of course, Hadi drops that. He's like, he's a furry too, Lamar. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party. I know you've already seen tons of videos and tons of streams, but I can assure you, this one is most definitely worse. Hey, Bada, does this sound like an air horn to you? And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna yap about it for 40 minutes because I'm dying to tell you why I'm in love with this YouTube poop of a game that outsold Call of Duty. I really do love going to work. <laughs> <laughs> to warn you in advance, this video is sponsored by Swouse, my brand new merch collection on sale for a limited time, but I'm not gonna tell you about it for like eight more minutes because I don't wanna interrupt the story. Damn. So let's get started. Okay, so there's this company called The Company that puts a metaphorical gun to your head and gives you two choices. Make money for the company. Or I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. Or, if that doesn't sound like your style, your second option is summary execution by the company. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Facts. The money required to avoid your execution is called quota, and it doesn't matter how silly or how which scary- is cra Which is crazy because, like, bro, like, what do you mean I didn't have an option? I don't even remember getting this job interview. What do you, what, what do you mean? I just, I just happen to pop up in a suit. <laughs> things get it is the only thing that matters hey, what's up, man? you know you're gonna be summarily executed into the void of space <laughs> if you don't get a quota right this may seem like just another boring five letter word q u o t a who cares but the more you play this game the more you realize it is so much more than that you will experience horrors beyond your comprehension in the name of quota oh, hell no. why he herbal <laughs> Oh, hell no. Nah. You will betray your best friends in the name of quotas. Shut, what? shut what? up, America. Get them subs. Shut up. Fuck. Okay. Uh -oh. Fuck you. Uh -oh. Fuck you. Damn. It's getting you. It's getting you. Damn. It's getting Bye. you, dog. Sorry. Start the ship. Start the fucking ship. Put the keys in the ignition, please. Hear me loud and clear, and I mean loud and clear, when I say it's quota or die. Yes, yeah, in the ziplock, call that shit loud and clear. Hit you at the end, you missed it. Quota is achieved by stealing... Repurposing I'm stealing, random junk stealing, from, quote, stealing, abandoned you said right? industrialized moons that I can assure you were abandoned for a reason. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh my gosh. This crap, officially called scrap, is fantastic <laughs> because it makes absolutely no, no sense. sense. What makes no sense is this nuclear powered reactor I'm holding is worth less than a rubber ducky. A jar of pickles That's can facts. be worth more than an engine. A lamp <laughs> can be worth more than a nuclear reactor. Even the bodies of your dead teammates technically have a value. And in case you weren't already depressed, each and every one of you is worth five whole credits. Why does this game's economy let you trade five human beings for a jar of pickles? What you want gift? A jar of poop? Pickles? Pickles, not poop. Those are potentially. Value is important, but weight is even more important because the heavier something is, and the more it drains your stamina and hurts your regen. Which, in a game about sprinting away from things that want you dead, is important to nah, keep an eye on. Nah, the bracket in the diabolical. Right? They oh, they can't open doors! Oh my god! <laughs> Dipshit dumbass spider can't even open a goofy odd doors to open <laughs> door. Oh god, the spider has opposable thumbs. <laughs> the five basic movements you'll make while scrapping, I like to call Spidey or Dipsy. Dancing, interrupting, Interacting, pointing. Loaf. I saw a monster <laughs> out there. Scanning, which is super important for spotting loot and bad guys, so spam that shit. And why? Mm. Yapping. I think yeah, it goes man. without saying that yapping is mandatory if you hope to survive. Aren't creatures like professional yappers? <laughs> I mean, they are. They are, though. I'm not right. I'm not gonna lie. He's 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 on to something right there because preachers do be yapping. They yap, 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 yap. That's what the motherfuckers be doing, bro. They just be 
talking all all day long. Every day, 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 Damn, somebody That's died. It's a little horrifying, but it's kind of soothing at the same time. Other crap is two-handed, which means you can't access your inventory, climb ladders, or pick up anything else, with a perfect example being... Oh, yes! Yo, scream it as loud as you can. I want to hear it as loud as you can. <laughs> Yo, you actually had... That Coca-Cola. There's all kinds of quirkiness when it comes to scrap, and the apparatus is a prime example. This mini nuclear reactor is what powers the entire facility you're looting, so once you take it, all the electricity is gone, which means no more lights and an immediate spike in radiation levels. I love grabbing this thing because it makes everybody's day worse. Yeah. Facts. I grab this thing and I ruin everybody's day, <laughs> me grabbing my car keys after 12 cores lights. <laughs> He says, that might not make it in home tonight. <laughs> Man, I wish this beer would stop telling me to drive. Which one of you fucks pulled the battery? Dude, was, I was by myself. I was by myself picking shit up, and I was like, you know what? At least I can see where I'm going and make my way no. back. And then all the fucking lights turned off. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, you can call me an idiot for using it as the world's largest, heaviest, most expensive flashlight, but my I mean, goals are beyond your understanding. Hey, hold up. Hey, I got a big flashlight for the crew. Get out of the way. <laughs> big flashlight coming through. Big flashlight boy on the moon. Big flashlight boy. Expensive flashlight. Plenty expensive flashlight boy. has use beyond simply turning into credits to meet quota, like keys that unlock doors. I got a key for moments like this. Hi. Oh, did absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. Never mind. For my personal favorite, stop signs. So I can beat the shit out of bugs <laughs> using stolen Damn, government he's infrastructure. Shit out of I wish an anomaly would right now. No matter the junk That's you crazy. collect, it is completely worthless unless you cash it out for credits to meet quota, which is where the terminal comes. I love how he goes into debt and explains it in like a funny yet yeah, like um, funny comical relaxing way. I would say like he he's very good at like breaking it down on simple terms. But like also making it like extremely funny and layout. Terminal is the second most important word in this game next to quota, because if you don't learn it, you're in trouble. Your ship's landing and takeoff is controlled by a lever on the dash, but selecting where you want to go is the terminal's business. Typing moons will tell you which are available to loot and how the weather is, and trust me, weather in this game can be a real kick in the dick. Once you've made up your mind, you're typing route, then where you want to go, like the company building, so you can cash out your scrap. Much like all things in Lethal Company, the HQ is also trying to kill you. Turning in your scrap <laughs> to the window and ringing a bell will turn meaningless crap into cold hard credits, but don't stand too close once the slot opens or you will also be collected. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Assuming you survive the tentacle monster, it's time for payday. Ah! I need a I mean, paycheck. The size of this paycheck not only depends on what scrap you delivered, but when you delivered it. On day zero, when quota is due, they'll pay you 100% full price for your items, but any day earlier than that, and you only get a fraction Damn. of their value, sometimes 30 cents on the dollar. This is a Damn, bunch of crazy. ass I don't care about. That's Sell crazy. whatever They're you want balls, on any bro. day you want, as long as you meet that almighty number called quota. Assuming you did that, Holy shit, we can finally start having fun. Now that you're no longer a little piss baby and you understand quota, let's get down to serious business. Not the pickle jar sack, though. <laughs> With newfound credits come newfound options, a big one being moons. Some moons are distant, like the infamous Titan, that cost money if you want to land on them. They are both higher risk and higher reward, because even though they cost credits, these moons have the best crap and the scariest monsters oh defending that crap. Hey, what's up, bitch? Oh, God. Freddy Fazbear. What's up, Freddy bitch? Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Back up! Back up, <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw four beat. people lined up. Oh, oh my damn. God. Oh, damn. How much money did we pay to travel? Travel to this planet. The other major option for burning credits, items. And I know you're gonna ask me, so let me tell you in advance that you cannot buy beans. Hey, you want some beans? Beans? beans. Why the yeah, fuck would you buy some beans? What the fuck? <laughs> yo, yo they're so what stupid, the bro. Fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the Where'd fuck? my blue dogs go? I mean, you can download a mod if you really need beans. I think you've noticed by now, people love modding this shit. Dog, no, I think I downloaded the wrong <laughs> lethal company. Because in Lethal Company, you live yeah, and you die need, by the flashlight. Fuck flashlight. Put a flashlight in the cabinet with 1% battery. I'm gonna crack <laughs> your fucking skull open. If you don't have a flashlight to spot mines, turrets, and monsters lurking in the dark, ready going, to nade your ass in the dark, early grave, you are destined for a life of pain. There's a mine in here somewhere. 
Wow, there's also this turret. <laughs> you oh, died because no flashlight, no bread alert. These things are so critical Real that boy. if you fall to your death, your teammates will have one thing to say. Damn. I really miss that flashlight. Ah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dipshit version and a pro version that is brighter, larger, and has double the battery, and if you forget to recharge it, I'm feeding your ass to a spider. All items, Damn. including flashlights, are bought via the terminal and delivered to you with a jingle that is nearly impossible to miss. Apart from flashlights, everybody's got a tier list of what's good and what's bad, and the walkie-talkie is definitely divisive. It allows you to communicate with anybody else anywhere on the map that is also holding a walkie-talkie, but my friends are so loud that I just can't use it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, I wouldn't be able to use it either, bro. What the fuck? Why are they so loud? Well, all of you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Items can range from useless novelties that provide zero utility. Hey, can you buy that candlelit dinner, please? Who the fuck bought a toilet? <laughs> Items with situational utility, like performance-enhancing drugs, medicine, to avoid losing all my ad revenue on this video, even though it's apparently a safe and legal combo of amphetamines and helium. Oh, I gotta hit it? He's about to die. <laughs> I'm putting flashbangs in this same situational slash possibly useless category. Even though it's funny to flashbang something with eight eyes because it theoretically hits them four times as hard, my homies never deploy it correctly no, on any monster. Oh, He's got a flashbang. To your right, to your right. There's a mine as well. Mine. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, mine. Oh, my gosh. Hey, look, I see. Maybe it worked. Uh, I think it died. You killed it, dog. It's dead. I'm walking past this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> the only item more likely to betray your teammates than a flashbang is a ladder, because no matter how sturdy it is, it is only as safe as the guy that's holding it. Just fucking jump, drop it all. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's so petty, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I would do that too. No, between that and like act trying to kill him, try to kill him with the ladder, placing it down, I think that would be the the the, the go to for me. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Just the back. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny now, are you? If you want something truly useful, buy a teleporter, which lets you yoink any player you are currently spectating back to the ship, dead or alive. Just look over Bada's shoulders. <laughs> this is so so Damn, look at this. Very look at this. important this to do that, because the company told. deducts a big chunk of credits for every crewmate you leave behind, but as long as you collect the corpse, you avoid the tax. Okay, I still don't... Uh, okay, Whoa. who's getting excited? Stop, stop, Damn. stop! Whoa. There's even an inverse teleporter, which beams you from the ship into a random part of the facility. Facility, as scary as that sounds. Press the yellow button. Okay. All right, let's get in there. All right, we gotta go. Oh my god. That is horrifying that all of them are now gone. The only major downside here is that items do not travel with you, so it's best to use it for body retrieval or getting a trapped buddy out of a jam. Hey, teleport me out. I'll go back to the ship. I need to be teleported. Okay, don't move. I'm not teleporting his dumb ass. Wasting Damn. resources. I'm looting <laughs> other sections of the map. Ooh, That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, I think he died. No I think he died. I gotta see what happened. Yo, Loaf, are you good? <laughs> loaf. Loaf, can you hear me? Is there a loaf still alive in here? Oh, no. That answers my question. I think I'm done here. And with that, <laughs> it's time to move on from items to cooperation. Because if you understand teamwork, it'll open a lot of doors for you. This, this door? Yeah, open it. No, the other one that says lock, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't. I feel like there should be a little bit of cooperation in this game, but not so much because I feel like you got to like make this content. You feel me? You gotta purposely fuck your teammates over. <laughs> it goes without saying that being friendly and cooperative leads to better outcomes in Lethal Company, but if you ask me, being hostile and chaotic is a whole lot funnier. Oh, you know what? Saying. I think he's a piece of shit, but we won't bring that up. But if you hope to meet quota, especially the larger quotas, yeah, be... you'll need to trust and cooperate with yeah. your teammates. Gary put it there. He said it won't go off. I don't think it's gonna go off. So I think... Well, yeah, I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> nope. Gary lied. Gary lied. <laughs> Oh, you said this was tech! I thought you said it was tech! Making tough choices is a fundamental part of what makes Lethal Company so addicting, and I'll illustrate this with a door. Let's say you've got a teammate being chased by a monster rushing towards the ship. Not you've the got door. two choices. Close the door no, and let your teammate die, but keep yourself and all your other teammates safe from the monster. Close on, Digi. Oh, yeah, baby! Yeah! 
<laughs> we'll, we'll leave it open. Open the door for your sprinting then... teammate to potentially save his life, but okay, run the risk of the like... monster getting inside and, and killing kill everybody. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Oh, okay, 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 okay
Oh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Oh, let him take a I'm shotgun. Out negotiate. Negotiate. Okay, get out. Get out. Get out. Great negotiation. Great negotiation. Get out. But don't go thinking that every monster can be negotiated with. Because if you try to pull that shit with Bracken, he may not be so amused. Nah, so I'm going to give him some Coca-Cola and we'll negotiate. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Bracken is the most beloved entity in the game that prefers red to blue and is often modded to become Freddy Fazbear. All right, if you call him Freddy Rizbear again, I'm Freddy gonna Freddy Rizbear is crazy. I was, I was ready to What's up, my boy? Oh, oh damn. Oh, wow. That was Wait, is he that Nene? He'll snap your neck and drag your body back to his trap house if you get too close or stare too long, but if you only glance at him, he'll just leave. Oh, okay. I see that I'm not alone anymore. Did Bracken come back? Okay, 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 he came back. He shattered short. Senor Bracken, come out to play. Yay. No. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Some monster interactions are just horse shit. Like the speed that a thumper can wave dash is nothing short of a death <laughs> sentence. <laughs> what? 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 is that speed? I feel like Gary would be so hyped about his movement. And don't even get me started on the spooky little girl. The math required to understand her behavior could probably stump Richard Fine. Oh, girl, what this fine? I... All right, so should I be scared or not? She's just breathing. She ran away, because she's a scared little coward. See you later, uh -huh. chicken shit, dumbass child. But for the most part, each monster has flaws for you to exploit. If you don't want to get eaten by a giant, make sure he doesn't see you. There's another one! Oh, God! If you don't want to get eaten by a dog, make sure he doesn't hear you. Chad, I'm going to say it's super quiet. But can't the giants hear, too? But they... I thought the giants could hear, too. I don't know, maybe I'm just... What the dog doing? Oh, God. Oh, look at me! I proc on sound! <laughs> Stupid ass dog. <laughs> the more unique the monster's flaw, the more unique the interaction. And I think Coilhead takes the cake for me. No, yeah. I could not get out. Yeah. Coilheads are invincible, but can only move when you aren't looking at them. So making sure one of your teammates is always making eye contact is crucial. Hold E and look quick. Ooh, oh, yeah. so cool. Cooperation, oh my God. bring that up again, is the best way to deal with them. But if you have a teammate nearby and you just don't tell them, that's also a solution. <laughs> uh, doors. Well, can you close doors on them? Oh, what, the block? No, they open doors. All things can open doors. You're oh, dead. <laughs> that's crazy. Do not go in there. That's crazy. Do not. That's crazy. Go in. That was there. a crazy Do setup. Do not go I in there. I think you should go in there. I think you should go in there. All right, I'm gonna go back to the He's ship. He's not gonna right. make. What happened? You, you all right. So, um, you want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Counterintuitively, he can be even more dangerous with a large group because everybody else assumes that somebody else will maintain the eye contact. Badger this way. Badger this you way. You a whole bit. Oh, oh wait. The other way. Fire escape. Oh, <laughs> oh that sounds like a gesture. Oh, oh my God. I got That's this. a. <laughs> that sounded like a gesture. I got a single frame of that scream. If you prefer fight to flight, bashing monsters to death with shovels or stop signs is an option in Lethal Company. Hey, but this strategy is much more suited to a modded lobby with 10 guys running around than a default lobby with four. Get his ass, fellas. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice. This yeah, game was really designed as a run away from the monsters game, not a Space Hulk the monsters run away from me game. He is cooked. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna gobble him. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Jerry Tom death sight. scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nah, it's for real. Facts. Tom and Jerry looking ass death. All right, I'm gonna jump into the ocean. You guys be good. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Plenty of monsters are invincible. Most can out DPS you, and it always feels better to find the creative solution to the bad guy instead of trying to solve every problem with a stop sign. Will he take a whole ass large axle? I want to see him take anything. It. All right, all right, you ready? Okay, back up, back up. Oh, he took it! He took the whole ass. I'm large a, yeah, axle. He, he take anything. 
<laughs> he seemed pretty happy about it. He and did. you've already seen in this video that the scariest monsters are often your own teammates. It's also common to have a commander, so to speak, who is somebody that stays behind on the ship to monitor the radar, open secure doors, teleport players, and communicate on the radio. They're essentially the one driving the boat, having both great power and great responsibility. Let me drive the boat. His ass is <laughs> <laughs> they be the best not one. They be the best ones because they can sit there and, and really cause your death. <laughs> <laughs> do not give the keys. Do not give the keys. The wheel. Let's go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's that shit? <laughs> 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 Because Devil if they ever decide to take off early, it means a premature death for anybody not on the ship. And I have never seen a group of interns so angry. For what reason? Stupid moron. Do you know how much loot we had? We had <laughs> thousands. Digi, we're gonna beat you to death with hammers. I hope you know that. <laughs> I say that we revoke Digi's oxygen privileges. I, uh, I think that all, all in favor. All in favor. Yes. Give me them two oh, bullets, I don't feel respected here. <laughs> Why do I need rever- Wait, where did you go? <laughs> you can't leave the disrespectful space. The final question I'm sure you're asking, is Lethal Company scary? And the answer entirely depends on settings. If you are in the big lobby mod like me and constantly have teammates around saying things like this, feeling it's salt, but the ketchup, a little bit of poop. Uh, you know, Ooh, the usual. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa. it's not scary. If you jack up your brightness like I see a ton of people do, no, it's not a scary game. But if you're playing default four-player regular vanilla, I think it shows how brilliant and scary, or yeah, at the very it, least it, unsettling, the game is. I never thought I'd unironically <laughs> say this word, but the reason why is immersion. I know Skulker is about to bully me and tell me I smell like beans for saying that word, but hear me out. You're playing the KB2, you smell me like me fucking out. beans, dog. <laughs> 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 Unlike a Discord call, which feels flat and 2D, the proximity voice chat in this game makes it feel 3D with both distance and direction. Oh, you're above me, you're up there. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that was fucking haunting. <laughs> For lack of a better word, you are immersed in this world with 3D surround sound that temporarily tricks you into feeling like you are in a place talking to other people. I oh, think I got, got my swag not... up back. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Yeah. The moment I realized this was brilliant was the moment it was taken away from me. I was deep in the facility down a labyrinth of hallways and my flashlight was almost dead. Feel like it's getting kind of late, fellas, and I'm running out of battery. I called out for help from my teammates, but I was met with silence, so I tried the radio instead. Let's try this. Can anybody help me get out of the facility? I'm just totally lost. Ah. <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. I have never felt so completely alone in my oh, entire man. life. You get so comfortable saying things out loud and hearing things said back in a 3D space that when you say something and, no one responds. and don't hear anything back, it is haunting. Your flashlight is dead, the night is getting darker, and the only noises you can hear are monsters approaching you from all angles. Okay, I'm hearing big movement. Honestly, at this point, he didn't see me. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. <laughs> Just leave the facility, Badger. What do you think I'm trying to do? I can't find my way out. Oh, don't oh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was such a labyrinth. Right. There was no way that I was finding my way out. That is how Lethal Company can be scary and what makes it so brilliant. When you are yeah. around others, the game really makes you feel like you're around others. I retweet a lot of shit, bro. Like, I don't keep up. I just, I just hit retweet and I keep scrolling. <laughs> when you are by yourself, the game really makes you feel like you are by yourself. We are talking 100% forever alone you are a dead man walking yeah, that they basically. will never find I am blown away that this game was made by one guy, and you won't understand the true extent of his goofy creativity until you've played it for yourself. Press B on things, and just, I eat it, and it disappears. <laughs> what? Don't eat Try. the toilet, either. That's just gross. Why are you sitting on the toilet? 
Ew, you dirty motherfucker. Ew. I'm excited to see how Lethal Company evolves in the future, because since I started making this video, there's been a major update and a mountain of mods added to this game. We're getting that pirate bay alien no, 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 shit no, no, no. about 47 months. I'm moving different. Oh my what God. the heck? Dude. The introduction of the double barrel shotgun from this nutcracker monster has completely changed the game. This one item suddenly makes every crewmate more dangerous than a police officer hearing a falling acorn. <laughs> he's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun! He's got a gun. <laughs> yeah, we got him! Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't know why, but having this thing around crewmates is like a PDF around boomers. People are gonna die. I guarantee it. That's actually the key to just conquering boomers. Ask them to sign a PDF digitally. They just die. I asked a boomer to sign a PDF for me and he pulled out an electron microscope. <laughs> Adding a gun to the game may not sound like a big shift, but it has the ability to transform trustworthy crewmates into homicidal maniacs. You gotta, you gotta show it. Oh, seven. <laughs> What's funnier is that there's a new item called the dramatic mask that is specifically designed for this purpose of turning teammates evil. As in, if you hold it up to your face, you can literally turn into a monster that attacks your yeah. teammates like a zombie. Yeah, yeah, and even that thing is far less dangerous than a teammate with a shotgun in his hands. I got five copies of your in the hands of a reasonable teammate, the outcomes are incredibly positive because the ability to kill a monster in a split second will get you out of a jam and save lives. But putting the power of God in the hands of an unreasonable teammate, the outcomes may not be so positive. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. I eat bullets. I don't give a fuck. Sure Let you do. <laughs> yeah, you ate that shit, all right, fat boy. <laughs> I just had to G-check him on that. <laughs> I feel that like he. To. I feel like he asked for it. that. That right there. I feel like was necessary he asked for this it. shotgun just talks to me sometimes you can't blame it on me Jeez. please give me the shotgun i'm normal i can be trusted with a double barrel shotgun when my teammates are unarmed the little girl coming after me i'm fucked i have a gun little girls aren't good against guns oh uh, no, no 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 only i can see her and when she reaches me my head is full. Oh. <laughs> he put I him on his misery to tell him that i would solve his problem so badly <laughs> A safety mechanic on this thing because when it's loaded with the safety off it can randomly fire and not all of us agreed on safety rules what happened down here so my safety was on and i didn't manage to shoot but thankfully mickey saved me hey you can just hey, never turn the safety bada on bada that solves your problem safety always That's off what i am a responsible if i make it back oh no i do that. great oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he just got blasted in the back of the head. Sigrid just executed Sigrid you like is locked the fuck in. She was not tolerating any tomfoolery, all right? Sigrid oh is so locked in. Like, how is this possible? Holy shit. We are reaching levels of locked in we thought previously. Oh, oh my gosh. I was so fucking locked in. Sigrid, you fucking shot me in the back of the head. If you were any more locked in, it would be considered a prison sentence. What makes Facts. this especially dangerous is that the spread on this bad boy is it's Fallon. massive, and it has no problem slapping multiple targets at once. Okay. Yo, come outside real quick. Oh my gosh. How did you kill what the all fuck? of us? Damn, so oh my gosh. How did you all die from that? That shit's got range. My play session in February taught me that mods can definitely enhance or weaken the experience, depending on your perspective. Like, cosmetics and emotes are just fine. What is gorilla? Oh, that's... <laughs> Me when I see my ops. <laughs> but if you turn on the wrong mod like Brutal Company, it ruins oh. everything. Pasta <laughs> doesn't know that there's going to be a mine under his feet in three, two, one, and... <laughs> nah, Brutal Company. I'm not going to lie I liked Brutal. I like Brutal Company. I think Brutal Company was like amazing because it was just so fucking difficult. Oh, he got this single frame execution. It may be funny for a round or two and it may make Twitch chat laugh, but that's only because you've made the game impossible. Oh my god, chat. That's probably the scariest thing. That has never happened to me in my life. Don't get me wrong, I'm strongly in favor of pushing the bounds of what's possible in a game and limit testing to the ends of the earth. We must limit test. 
Oh, he's gone. Wait, 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 he's gone. Wait, 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 wait. He's gone. A point where too much is too much. Like if you find yourself in a game where you can always hear other people talking, no matter your position on the map, the big lobby mod has gone too far. Bitch, we can hear y'all through the bookcase. As soon as I think Gary's too far away to be heard, I just hear, huh? <laughs> Instead of one lobby of 20, how about two games of 10? Four games of five? Five games of four? You do the math. I think I've made my point on the mods. If you really want to squeeze the fun out of this game, less is more. This is just Gary. I don't care what you tell me. Yeah. This is Gary. That is definitely Gary. Wrapping on up here, I can't thank those of you on Twitch enough for helping me make this video. From the subs, to the bits, to the jokes. I used my neural link to exterminate every Kia Soul owner in Damn. existence. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Glad I don't Why drive do a Kia. Why do you hate the Kia Soul so much? That makes no sense. Damn, I don't want yeah. Chad to get a neural link. If Chad ever gets a hold of a neural link, it's over. Kia Souls are built like in <laughs> spider fur. I stream two hours a day, six days a week now, and having thousands of you screaming at me about my busted ass hairline really is a dream come true. Do not forget about the Swow merch at the link below. It's only available for the next 14 days, and it's a great way to support these videos while also making sure you pass the fit check. Fresh. Fresh. And a final shout out to Zeekers for reminding me what kind of power an individual has in 2024. The fact that Lethal Company was made by a single person blows my mind, and I've never spent a better $10 in my entire life. <laughs> I'm gonna die. If I had two bullets and I had Hitler, Stalin, and Digi in front of me, I'd shoot Digi twice. <laughs> <laughs> if the earth is flat, why is my life Constantly going downhill. Ooh, uh, uh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a jetpack. What is, what is this hatch actually for? All right, there he goes. What the? Hell? <laughs> 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 Why did it do that? Why did it do that? <laughs> you overheated it, my boy. Why did it do that? I read the directions on the jetpack. It said, We fly high, no lie. I got pretty women showing teeth like I'm Flacco. I came in a hot tub, I'm still in the drop.